Hello everybody. I'm pretty excited because I checked my mail yesterday and guess what came? The very first letter. The idea again then is to just use this little color wheel as a guide, you know, looking for colors from around the world. And then I'm going to take all of your swatches and create a work of art. And I'm going to be very careful in how I open this envelope because I want to save everything. This envelope is very important because it's going to become part of the art project. I mean, it's exciting to me because uh, sending something through the mail these days is becoming a lost art. And, you know, we can all do it, but we just don't because we've got email and all these other ways to communicate. Okay, Carol, here we go. I'm going to collect all these swatches and then create this art project and it's a community project. It's personal to all of us and it ties us together. Um, this is going to be a very unique community. We're going to get to know each other in so many different ways and on so many different levels. Okay, so I just wanted to report to you that I did check my mail again, of course, and I've received a lot more uh, great envelopes from you guys and I just thought I would run through the names of people that I have uh, received mail from. I received this from Mary Knapp today. Um, this came from Belinda. Thank you, Belinda, all the way from Australia. This came from Robert Simmons. He's kind of my neighbor. Mindy Tillery in Florida. Look at these gorgeous envelopes and stamps. Margaret McDevitt, Catherine Cookson, Cornelia Forster with Valerie Payne sent this all the way from California. Cloud Larson, Jane Kirk, Kathy Ferguson, Carol Mel, Lori Davis Sandoval. I'm not going to be opening it, but I will say that there's one envelope that has me a little bit curious because it actually, when I shook it, it kind of made a noise and I wasn't quite sure who it was from. So I may just have to open that one up and share with you what's in that one. But um, just wanted to go through where I received this today. I got from uh, an envelope from Joan Boyce from Sarasota, Florida. Vicki Edwards, and I love Jane's um, handwritten Cynthia Rochette. And these are really thick, by the way, you guys. So I, I really can't wait to open these. Casey Muscolino, Arachami, all the way from uh, Florida. I'm trying to show you guys her writing. And I, I really think that this is something that uh, I want to stress. Sometimes it's just a small tweak in the way we think. And if we start to think of our, our entire day as being art filled or an opportunity to make it art filled, whether that means popping a small sketchbook into your, your purse or your tote bag or just in your car, it's kind of like, you know, um, even if you have a full-time job and you're away from your studio and you're like, oh, I just wish I could get in there and paint. There are just so many opportunities to turn every moment into an art moment. That's what I like to think of. And um, I'm, I'm writing this book, which, you know, it's taking me time, but one of the uh, sections is um, that design is everywhere. And I've really come to respect and, and realize and be grateful for the fact that no matter where I go, no matter what I'm doing, this is true of you as well, there is great design everywhere and it's because of artists and if we don't create, we don't have that art. We don't have our art on packaging, we don't have our art on branding when we go to the grocery store. Imagine if there was no art and we went to the grocery store and every package was like white with just plain old letters. So art is everywhere and you can turn every minute of your day. Okay, so here's an envelope from Marsha Borgi from Bethesda, Maryland. This one is from Kathy Gibson all the way from Berlin, Maryland. Light blue envelope. I love these colorful envelopes. They're gonna be so much fun to be collaging onto my panel. Look at this bright green one from Judith Lule. She lives right in Grandstale, not too far from Hamilton. And she is my admin in the PDPC group. So thank you, Judith. One from Judy Kane. Now here's the one that had me perplexed and excited. And it's from Janet Fisher. It kind of made this sound and it had me like really curious what's in there. So of course I had to open this one. Um, first of all, she has a lovely note that she wrote to me. On the back of her note is this metallic tape. Look what she sent me. These are like really awesome little things she's found probably from like the hardware store and whoops um little pieces 
um, like that. So this one, thank you for uh, for sending this. Susan Bennett from Maine. Barb Delugarde, and I met her husband. She's in Pennsylvania. Thank you, Barb. Terry Beck Engel. Hey, Terry in Wisconsin. And Bonnie Minardi. And I've got to uh, give a shout out here to Cece <laughs> because this one's a chunky one. She has like given me three envelopes. Okay, so she's she's awesome. And uh, look here, she's labeled this one. Look what she has sent me. Fuzzy things. These look like uh, collage papers of different, many, many different colors. Can you see the greens and blues? She has done some thread work. Uh, read a little bit here. This is such a fun project and I can't wait to see your finished collage. My swatches are all hand painted bits of collage papers that I have done over the years. Enjoyed looking, love looking through everything as they had a history. My history of art making. Thank you for giving me this opportunity to look back. This envelope from Jan Hoffman in Florida. Teresa Beyer. Gretchen Dean. Amy Whitehouse. And look at this. She did a stamp on the back. Sheila Anmuth from Asheville, North Carolina. Lois Bennett. Now her envelope is super cool. I'm going to show you the front. Got a design and then look at the back. Ron Lloyd and Carol Tufford. Patricia Rabel. Sharla Duffner from Nevada. This one's from Christina Mellal. Cheryl Brown. Joy Carter. Linda Harris. Brigitte Zucht. Denise Smith from Texas. Christina Drummond. Cheryl Bloom. Susie Rakowski in Colorado. These are the little pieces here. Denise Carey, Patty Molina from Michigan, Sharon Tanner from California. I love her handwriting. Look how gorgeous that is. It's, it's just lovely. MJ Butler from New Mexico, Sally Mather, Susan Warlow from Canada, Celine Filion, Lisa Abbott Moore with Debbie Clarkston, Elise Katz, Cynthia Lee from Illinois, Julie Jenkins from Crestline, California, Donna Moody. This is a work of art from Karen Husky in Alpharetta, Georgia. Terry Duncan from the PDPC course. Uh, I opened it up and then there's a seed packet and I've given her some lavender plants for my garden. She loves lavender and she sent me some seeds that have come from these plants. Her swatches, I'll just show you here. Uh, there's quite a little assortment here and they're all like these commas but in addition she wrote me this little card and here it is it has she loves sea turtles so there's some sea turtles on there and um she she writes my dear friend here is my voice each stanza is numbered as is each comma it is my heart deconstruct and reconstruct at will guided by love john is in this the lavender is from the stalks you, br you brought to him for his bedside during the last days of his life with us. My life was amplified by his presence and is diminished by the loss of his strength, his creativity, his beauty, and his love. Daily, moment by moment, I think of your art with the ashes. I wonder if something beautiful will arise from the ashes of my heart. Maybe art will help, or a trip to my beloved sea and turtles. Love, Terry. Let me see here. We've got a sweet little envelope from Liz Dexter. And oh boy, I was so happy to get this from Kristen in Iceland. Uh, Bev has this uh, very cool green envelope here. Sylvie Boudet, Andy Reno. Um, I, I looked at the back side of her envelope and it says, You and I, masterful humans, are friends for all time and beyond. And she did a little painting on the back side and, and then wrote that by hand. So thank you, Andy. Stacy Erickson in uh, Arizona. Susan Crew. Thank you to Mark. Look at this gold envelope. Bev Kerr from Canada. Linda Hughes, your envelope has arrived and you are in Florida. Shiloh. De La Cruz in Washington. Angela Baker. Cindy Lewis in Washington. I mean, her envelope is just so joyful. <laughs> Kathleen Nolan in Washington. Thank you, Kathleen. Kathleen Berkeley in Texas. And I just wanted to pull this out because it was um, quite, <laughs> quite interesting. So there is um, her envelope and her adorable animals. She must be an animal lover. But she also inserted this inside and there's just a little note. Um, there she is. In, from her head to her toes. This is uh, Maureen Nolan. Look at her bright, beautiful lime green. 
Nano Smith, Dolores Bando, and she actually kind of lives in my backyard. From Karen Arndt from uh, Alberta, Canada. Thank you so much. I got yours. Thank you. Carrie Foling from Norway. Um, Aggie Alexander, Donna Bolum, Charlene Horak, and I love what she's done on the back side. I'll show you that in a second. It's kind of reminds me of the Pink Panther. Very cool. Love all of her dots. Colleen Shea, Valerie Armstrong. I've I've known her, and you know, I recently did an interview with her, which um, we'll be sharing with you. Gisela Kissing, all the way from Germany. Nancy McPhee, who decorated her envelope and has cows as her stamp. Look at her envelope. Gail Higginell from uh, Ontario, Canada, another Canadian. Marianne Trotter, who I just met her in person in my studio in Montana, and I just wanted to um, show you her lovely card. Original art by Marianne. Marianne. Thank you, Marianne. Angelique uh, Lero. Look at this lovely and interesting envelope here with all the stamps. Carol Wade. Look at her collage paper. Anne Latour. And I did want to pull this out and just show you what she has done. And she sent me the story behind each one of her swatches. And like each one of these sheets of paper has a square cut out and a story behind her colors. This one came all the way from New Zealand, so I want to thank Diane Doran. She, I've gotten to know her quite well. Thank you so much, Diane. How exciting. You've got your little kiwi stickers on the back side. Uh, this is from Joan Boyce from Florida, so thank you, Joan. And then lastly, from Joey Mallet in Canada. She's in Vancouver, BC. A lot is happening, a lot of great things. I'm very pleased with how the new website's looking and, and how it's better navigation and more colorful and everything about it. So, uh, Tariel, your little letter has come all the way from Norway. Thank you so much. And to Skogen, um, looks like you guys were in on something because your envelopes arrived together. So thank you, Linda. Tim O'Neill, I just spoke with him recently. You guys can catch our, uh, our little chat on YouTube, which I posted today. Um, he's talking about his three struggles and it was a really great conversation. And he asked me if I'd gotten his letter yet. And at the time I hadn't, but now it arrived today. So a uh, very cool envelope. It's got some fancy folds and everything. Um, he obviously made this and then he put one of those cool wax stamps on here. So thanks to Sue Johnson all the way from Florida. And she has decorated her envelope on the back side. Look at how cool that is. Carmen Bruin from Minnesota. I got your letter today. Janet Starr from Idaho. Nicola Rowlandson all the way from New Zealand. I met her at a workshop in New York. Milica, she has really done some cool artwork on the front and on the back of her envelope. Bar material. Many thanks to Stephanie Wells on the on back. She's from New Hampshire and on the back she says, so fun to be a part of this project. Uh, Shelly Hakenson, Dawson City, Yukon Territory. That That is like really out there guys. This one is all the way from Denmark and it is from Hannah Lisa, uh, Lisa, Lisa? in uh, Denmark. So it came a long, long way. Thank you so much, Hannah. That's beautiful. Sue White. Uh, Maggie Whitney. Meg. Get them all the way from New Zealand. Denise Lance in Kansas City. Thank you, Denise. Ann Steele from Florida. All handwritten by Wendy Talbot in Australia. She has lovely writing, by the way. <laughs> I'm always so jealous when I see people with gorgeous writing. She had some very nice, beautiful um, foreign collage paper stationery, and then she wrapped it in, in string. And Jennifer C. from Canada. Deborah Gillespie, Leslie Price. And it's very cool how you open it, too. I mean, she made this envelope. Lisa Porter sent us all the way from California. Thank you to Sheila Whittem in Australia. Claudia Naus from Nevada. Um, Ms. DeBates, our tech guru. Look what she has sent me, a nice big envelope. And oh my goodness, um, she, <laughs> she sent me this. And you know, she has been um, very, very active in her studio. And I'll be sharing one of our conversations with you later on in our success path once we launch, but um, she has been doing some major celebrating and, you know, she's a very busy artist and looks like she made me some paper here. Very cool. All kinds of goodies. Look at this. <laughs> Karen Poltera, your DHL envelope has arrived from South Africa. <laughs> Talk about dedication. And I felt badly that she had to 
go to all this trouble to get this to me. And she sent me, um, first of all, kind of like an envelope with, um, I'm sure her letter and swatches and then additional, she wrote just a little extra for you to cut up if you want to love Karen. So there's this and she sent me a pen and I thought, you know, maybe she put that in there by accident. Do you want your pen back Karen? Because I'm happy to send it back to you in South Africa if you like. Or I can try to collage this onto my um, my piece, one of the pieces. Anyways, I want to thank all of you and uh, make it a great painting day. Thanks, everyone. Bye for now.